Libra. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Alright Libra, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Libra today. Libra, somebody is playing games here, okay? Again, roles can be reversed in, the, in your reading, in any of my readings here. <clears throat> could either be you or your person whom you are thinking about or dealing with. If somebody is not talking, not communicating, and seemingly could have turned their back on this connection, this person is playing games, okay? Whether it's, whether it's you or your person, again, it can be reversed. We've got the five of wands here, and we've got the six of cups here in reverse, and ten of swords. That's a sense of somebody feeling that, you know, I don't think... It's a good idea to reconcile because five of ones, there could be a lot of drama, arguments. For some of you, maybe it could mean uh, external factors, internal factors, or it could be other people who could be involved in this connection. Not all of you, okay? Five of ones could just basically mean conflicted, confliction as well. Somebody may be feeling kind of conflicted, whether they should talk, whether they should communicate or not. And final thoughts here also can indicate someone wondering, should I fight for this connection or should I completely let it go, throw in the towel? So, but the three of ones is in reverse here. So someone has actually turned their back on this connection because they feel a lot of hurt and pain here with the ten of swords. This may indicate an ending or a separation that was uh, very painful. I feel like this has already happened for a lot of you, Libra. So let's see. A little bit more. So Knight of Cups is in reverse and we got the Ten of Cups here. Someone is still feeling kind of stuck with the Six of Swords here in reverse. Feeling like it is really hard for them to move on because they could be again reminiscing about the Ten of Cups here or what could have been for the both of you. Both of you would, could have been very happy together. Could have been a long-term connection but for some reason I don't know. It could be because of either fight arguments not being able to see eye to eye or it could indicate third party situation. It could be this or that okay but six of pentacles in reverse also may indicate a lopsided uh, connection where someone may be giving more than the other um, I definitely sense someone may have been more invested than the other person okay it could be you or your person and we've got the nine of cups here in reverse I feel like this either could indicate somebody whom is not genuine who was not genuine I would say or sometimes it could also be an offer of love that is being uh, delayed because you know it's in reverse and it's right next to the ten of cups so I do sense somebody may have the intention to be with you or you may have the intention to be with this person with this person long term but there could be uh, I would say an obstacle okay whether the obstacle has something to do with sometimes it could indicate location because six of swords is in reverse stuck at a location or it could also indicate that could be a third party or other people involved or just whatever other external factors or internal factors okay that could have again caused this delay of either a reconciliation or being together Yep. So we've got the Page of Pentacles here. And we've got the Seven of Wands. There is an energy of someone also actually wanting to fight for this connection, right? Because the Page of Pentacles is here. Uh, however, the Page of Pentacles could also indicate someone wanting to offer something here, okay? It could be a message or an offering. Uh, it could be a commitment offering a commitment or an apology or it could be a peace offering however seven of ones here um, the way i'm seeing it someone could still be still have their guards up i would say um, someone is not that open in regards to receiving or accepting some sort of a an offer here okay um because it comes off as a pitch so it's young it's small maybe somebody feels like it's not good enough let's see more libra So we've got the Queen of Cups here. This may indicate a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups here in reverse. One person definitely is way more invested than the other, while the other person is still kind of like mm, the way I'm seeing the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Page of Pentacles here. I feel like someone could be stuck in between whether to, whether to offer this love 
or to offer a friendship. That's another another thing I'm getting. Page can be friendship as well. Could be it could indicate friend. So someone could be stuck in between. Should I just be friends with this person, or should I actually be in a relationship with this person? That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Someone could also be playing again mind games, saying, "Oh, let's be friends." I don't know who this message is for, but someone may be saying, "Oh, let's just be friends," but actually, it's some sort of a mind game, okay, to see how open you are, or to see if you're gonna object to it or if you're going to say okay. All right. Again, roles can be switched here. Nine of Cups is in reverse, and we've got the Four of Swords here. I do sense someone feeling really unhappy, discontented, but trying not to say anything about it because Four of Swords here indicates someone just sort of like keeping quiet, taking a rest, recuperate, recuperating. But also, it could mean someone is strategizing, planning. Okay, in regards of how to send you a message or you sending a message to this person. Again, I'm sensing someone who may be sending a message that seems like friendly, like it's nothing, like as if, you know, oh, we're just friends, but actually it's not just friends, okay? Definitely I see someone is interested. Libra, I just saw 555 on your uh, st on my stopwatch here, so if you guys are interested to check out your angel number, you can go ahead and Google it. There could be some messages for you over there. So let's see more. Yeah, I do see uh, an energy of someone wanting to heal this connection with you, wanting to return, hash things out. Now they are seeing things in a different perspective with the hangman here in reverse. And with the Three of Pentacles, yeah, wanting to fix things, rebuild your relationship, trying to compromise, okay? But then again, I feel like it's, it looks so complicated because with the Five of Swords here, there's this energy. You know, Five of Swords is a little bit similar to the Seven of Swords, but not exactly the same. However, it just looks like someone could be a little bit selfish as well. That's what I'm getting. But Nine of Cups in reverse can sometimes indicate selfishness or somebody being really self-centered, wanting their cake and eat it too. But it's in reverse. So Four of Swords here, someone could be thinking about maybe I shouldn't be that selfish. You know, maybe I should think about the other person's feelings instead because the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Love, Queen of Feelings, right? Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can be any sign I'm seeing Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here. Uh, fire signs as well, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Just let's uh, let's see one more. Eight of Cups. So definitely, Spirit saying to focus on yourself first. Self care, self love is the most important thing for you right now. Your health as well is very important. Eight of Cups here. This may indicate you walking away from somebody from your past. Um, if you're walking away from somebody from your past, Spirit saying to you know just keep on walking because the star here indicates you needing to focus on yourself first. Okay. You need to make sure that your well-being is being taken care of, number one, okay? And the rest, it's like this person is still kind of playing mind games, can be childish as well, Page of Pentacles, need time to grow up or need time to figure things out for themselves. So just let them be and just do your own thing for now and walk away. That's what I'm getting here, Libra. Um, you don't have to listen to my advice, but that's what I'm seeing here, all right? Libra, take care. Hope to see you uh, on your next reading. If you resonated, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you guys like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And Libra, I'm going to leave you with a video on the screen right now. This is the video, my latest video from my second vlog channel. If you guys would like to check it out. And also, um, I post your videos almost every single day. If you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Libra. Bye.